So let's take a look at this game scene. If we hit play, we can just see that it's there is a ball bouncing on a paddle. That's it. Uh, what I want to do is I want this score value up here to increase every time the ball hit, touches the paddle. And we can use passing variables between scripts to do this. So in the hierarchy, I have created the paddle with a script on it called paddle, and I've created a gameplay manager with a script on it called gameplay manager. So if I go ahead and open up mono develop here, I have these two scripts open. We're going to start off by creating a private integer within the paddle script, and we're going to call this score. And we're going to assign it an initial value of 100. Now, what we can do is we can delete these two functions here, and we can say void on collision enter 2D, and we're going to take in a collision 2D, and we're going to call it collision. And if you're unfamiliar with what this means, this is a function that's automatically going to get called every time the paddle has a collision. So now we are going to, well, basically that's all we're going to do for now because we have to set something up within the Gameplay Manager script. Now in the Gameplay Manager script, I'm going to assign a couple of variables and I'm going to call one of these variables public well, actually, first I need to go up here and say using Unity Engine dot UI because this is going to be a text element, and I can't do that unless I have that using statement up there. And I'm going to call this score text, and then I'm going to uh, basically save this script and go back into Unity. And here within the Gameplay Manager, it's now asking for a score text, so I'm going to drag this score text in here, and now that has a score text. Now we're back within the Gameplay Manager script. I don't want either of these functions, but what I do want is a public void update score. And, well, really, this is where we're going to get into passing variables. So let's go back here and take a look at the paddle. The paddle is going to need to talk to the Gameplay Manager. So before it can do that, it needs to have a reference to the Gameplay Manager. So we're going to write here private gameplay manager gameplay manager and then I'm going to recreate my have uh, I'll use my awake function and we're going to say gameplay manager equals game object dot find object of type and then we're going to put gameplay manager so now we can talk to the gameplay manager now when we have this void on collision enter 2d we essentially want to pass the value of this score that we've assigned up here. So basically in the paddle we've said that our score is going to be 100 points but we're actually going to keep track of this in the gameplay manager. So what we can do is we can write gameplay manager dot what do we call that update score and then if, have you ever noticed if you're going to call a function you have to write these two parentheses after you've called the function and then a semicolon. Well within the parentheses we can essentially pass the value of this score variable from our paddle script into our gameplay manager script. So what this means is if I we've already assigned score 100 points up here. Now if we write the word score in here and hit save well actually if we try to do anything now we're probably going to get an error. Well, we're definitely going to get an error because right now we've only done half of the passing variables between scripts. Essentially, in the baseball example I gave in my other video, this is the pitcher throwing a ball. However, there's nothing actually been written here in the Gameplay Manager script to catch it. So basically what we have to do is assign a new variable, and we do that here in the parentheses. And this is called our arguments. So we're going to name this int score. Now we're assigning this as a new variable within the Gameplay Manager script, and we could call this whatever we want. We could call this int score. We could call this int cow tipping. I I don't know. We could call, it, but we're going to call it something that's relevant, and we're going to call it score. So now it's still not going to do anything because we haven't actually told the text to update. But so what we can do is we can say within here score text dot text equals. I want to say score. And then I wanted to say, give the actual score, and we'll bring that to a string. Now, what we have, let's, well, let's just run this one more time and make sure that it actually works. 
and it does. So every time the ball bounces, it updates the score. Well, actually, it only updates the first time because I've just reassigned it. Uh, I haven't done the code properly here. What I actually want to do is increment the score. So I can just do that by uh, assigning a new variable here and saying private current score. And now we can say, oops, private int current score, excuse me, current score plus equals score. And now we can say here, current score to string. And now if we run this one more time, we can see that it should properly update. So here we go, the ball bounces once, twice, and you can see I increment the score by 100 points every time the ball bounces. So the paddle is the one that's actually keeping track of this score value. However, the score up here is updating, and the score text is being controlled by the gameplay manager, but the score value is being uh, taken care of within the paddle. Now, we could also go here within the paddle, and instead of making this a private int, we could also make this a public int and then within the hierarchy we could just uh, change this score value as we see fit oops and then instead of being incremented by 100 points we could increment it increment it by 200 points at a time so this is basically what it means to pass a variable between scripts now I've just given a very basic example here with an integer but you can pass any type of variable between scripts so integers floats booleans uh, you can even pass other game objects between scripts or basically anything that can be contained within a variable. Uh, the uses for this are very flexible and the more you get into programming, the more you get into game development, you're going to see more and more uses and it will make a lot more sense just the more you essentially use it. So that's what it means to pass variables between scripts. And I'm going to actually make another video that will show you the benefit of how and why you might want to pass variables within the same script as well. So uh, keep your eye out for that video. That will be a different example. Anyways, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Have a great day.